favorite thing. Here we go. Okay, are you ready? What is this? So we are his first time ever, guys, on Tea Time History. We're gonna do it with uh, what's it called? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, fast count. What's it? What is it called? Okay. Um, We're good. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Oh, what is wrong rapid with me? Thing. Here we go. Okay, are you ready? So we are his first time ever, guys. On Tea Time History, we're gonna do it with uh, what's it called? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, fast count. What's it? What is it called? Okay. Um, we're good. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Oh, what is wrong rapid with me? It's those two classes I did back to back at Equinox Space Street Game. Okay, that's why I can't think right now. Rapid fire. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it? Rapid fire for the Champions League, guys. So we have Arsenal versus Bayern Munich. We got Real Madrid versus Man City. Uh, PSG versus Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, and Dortmund. So we're going to do, guys. We're going to go. I'm going to go rapid fire questions to Akeem because he is our uh, soccer football aficionado in tea time. He's going to answer who's going to win each uh, one. So, uh, so let's go. Rap. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Rapid fire, Akeem. Let's go. First game: Arsenal versus Bayern Munich. Tough one. Bayern Munich has been having Arsenal's card every single year in the Champions League, but I think this year is different. I think the addition of Rice in midfield, Partey just came back, he's fully fit now. Well, he's almost fully fit now. Odegaard's magician. I think I think Arsenal finally gets Monk up the back and they beat Bayern Munich. So I'm taking Arsenal in that in that leg. So Arsenal goes through, they knock up Bayern Munich. Barring Arsenal. barring a Harry Kane hatch. Oh, Harry Kane. Ooh, okay. Uh, I think Arsenal goes Interesting through. Interesting take. Interesting now, take, Aki. All right. Second game, we got uh, Real Madrid, Man City. Go. That's. I think this is this is this is a tough one. This is where we talk about big boys in Champions League. I think this is the hardest one to predict. But I'm gonna go ahead. Maybe a little bit biased, but I'm gonna go and say Real Madrid knocks out Manchester City out the Champions League, and they go on through to. Ooh, I think that. I think that. They got more talent. It, they got more talent. It's a Real tough Madrid. one. I think talent might be equal. Talent, I might give Man City the edge, but I think Real Madrid. They're just seasoned at this, and this is really what they do when it comes to Champions League knockout stages. This is this is their bread and butter. Some year after year, they somehow seem to always get it done. So I think this year, of course, Manchester Manchester City beat them last time last time out. But I think this year would be different. I think that uh, Real Madrid gets it done. I think I think Vinny, Jude Bellingham, and Rodrigo I think those guys are the real deal. So I think they get it done. I think after that, maybe maybe Howling gets a little bit jealous and thinks let me thinks let me just uh, jump j- jump ship and heads over to Real Madrid next season. Who knows? I imagine the Howling was with uh, Real Madrid. Yeah, right maybe. Jump uh, ship. <laughs> <laughs> so let's I go. Have Real Madrid, be- Real Madrid being Man City. Let's go. Oh, let's go. All right, great take. Uh, I agree with our team on that. I think Real Madrid still in that one. All right, third game: PSG Barcelona. What do you PSG got? Barca. Um, Arguably the second best game of this this round of fixtures, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm taking PSG, the mighty Mbappe. I think he proves. Well, I think surprise he our topic question of the day, and you Come can on. pick PSG. <laughs> I think I think he's improved the world why he is the best player in the world. Uh, I think he Barcelona Barcelona has in recent years been going through a hard time. I think he he might add some more heat to that by knocking them the Champions League. Um, honestly, Mbappe, anything could happen. Mbappe could just have a good game or he might score one or two or he might really demolish them and score a hat trick who knows Mbappe really is that good so I'm gonna say PSG knocks Barcelona out and um, Barcelona's woes continue and PSG uh, keeps pushing for that elusive Champions League title so let's PSG go let's Barcelona. go all right last one Atletico Madrid versus Dortmund forgive me guys for mispronouncing the name but go ahead Atletico Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Madrid versus Borussia Dortmund this is going to be the most grimiest of the fixtures because both Atletico Madrid has been known for really uh, being, being a tough team to be in the champion in the knockout stages. Dortmund is a bit on the strength in terms of um, squad depth. However, it's a tough one. This, this is the hardest one to predict because it's really 50-50. I'm going to give Dortmund the edge. I think, I think they might have a little bit more attacking-wise. However, Atletico has way more experience, I will say. 
they have more experienced players, they have a tougher manager, I think they have tougher players in terms of mentality and in terms of getting the job done. It's really tough. I want to see Atletico Madrid, but from, for some odd reason, I think Dortmund might squeak one. I think maybe Sancho might really prove to Manchester United and the rest of the world. Maybe even make a late England push because right now he's not getting to that squad. Maybe make a late push to prove to everyone why he should be in the conversation for best players in the world and why he should be on that plane to um, playing for the Euros for England. So I almost say Dortmund beats Atletico Madrid. Final decision. Let's lock it in. Let's go. All right, great, great, great pick. So you got. Uh... This is Akeem's takes, guys. Well, uh, it's, uh, Arsenal, Real Madrid, PSG, and Atletico Madrid, right? Is it? Dortmund, Borussia Dortmund. Oh, sorry, Dortmund. Dortmund. Yep. All right. I think Dortmund. Great those, picks. Are my, those are my four. Let's see. Great picks. I will make a prediction and say that the Denver Nuggets will win the NBA title. <laughs> the Denver Nuggets? Do you really think the Denver Nuggets go ahead and win? <laughs> I'm, going off, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going off topic. Going, yes, they will win the. <laughs> Anyways, the soccer episode, not a basketball episode. Like, well, but anyways, great, great, great takes. Great uh, quick takes. question: If you, if this this is definitely off topic, this is a rapid fire question to you. So uh, let's see how this it? goes. If you we're, could, we're running out of time, man, give me one game. We're running out yeah, of time. Yeah. No, it's not a game. It's just a quick question. It's a fun question. So my question to you would be: Which soccer player do you think, if he was to be in the NBA, would be the would be a good NBA player? Early Holland. He's a big boy. Power Ooh. forward. Power, power, power forward. forward. From Allen? Power. But you got some of those goalies that are really tall. Donnarumma. Uh, yeah, who's Donnarumma that guy that plays for great. Belgium? He's really good. He's probably one of the best in the world. I forgot his name. Belgium goalie. I forgot his name. Oh, you're talking uh, Thibaut Courtois. Oh, he Courtois, would be really they'll, good. They'd be better ones because they're tall. They're tall. But they're like big body. You got yeah, Holland for sure. Yeah, Holland. Holland would be a good basketball player. I love Holland. We're going to get him on our show someday, Akeem, in the year <laughs> 2050. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, hope he, <laughs> I hope you didn't hear what I said about him today, then. That would not be good. <laughs> oh, whatever. He's a good you Again, me, Alan. Okay, Alan. But hey, listen, uh, Akeem, thank you again for doing this. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, guys, uh, we just need your support. So we'll do more of these, uh, you know, football, soccer episodes. And uh, it will incline Akeem to come on the show more. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, please support, guys. Like and subscribe below. Check out the tea time merch below as well. Akeem will definitely get some tea time merch, right, Akeem? I'm 100% so, getting the mug. Let's go. Yep, yeah, getting the mug. And uh, I got to get a new Real Madrid uh, mug because they're taking over the world for the next two decades. <laughs> but uh, thank you, Akeem, for doing this. Thank you. No and thank problem. you, guys, for joining us for Tea Time with Tommy. Yeah, Please thank support. you for having me, Tommy. Appreciate no it. Worries. Free time, man. No worries, Akeem. Thank you, guys. Akeem. Next time I'm on here, I'll have the mug for sure, though. Yeah, no get doubt. it on, man. No doubt. Get it on. 100% Akeem, get the mug. Akeem Villius and Tommy Lee with his rapper's mug. Signing out. Uh, on another note, please like and subscribe our podcast, Tea Time with Tommy, or else Tommy will throw tea at you. <laughs> <laughs>